I recently finished running Night Below, this old gym, but in 5th edition on Foundry Virtual Tabletop. It took about a year of weekly 3-4 to four hour sessions to complete it, and it was a blast. In this video and the ones that follow, I'll be going through a complete overview of the campaign from start to finish, as well as my thoughts on running it in 5th edition and building it out in Foundry Virtual Tabletop. Warning, this series is for Dungeon Masters only. There are a ton of spoilers that we'll be going over, and if you're going to play through this campaign as a player, you're not going to want to ruin it by watching these. First off, plot overview. The basics are that a Darrow Savant, a really powerful Darrow wizard, sorcerer, or whatever, has allied with a bunch of Abolith, and is trying to build a magical mind control machine to basically take over the world. To make the machine work, he has to sacrifice spellcasters as a power source for this thing, and in order to keep his fuel source going, he starts kidnapping spellcasters from the surface world, which is where our players get involved. As far as materials go, this is a second edition box set. So it came in, well, literally this box, and the contents include three books, along with a bunch of other supplemental materials like maps and handouts and such. Each book is almost an adventure module of its own. We'll go through each of these books in detail in future videos in this series, but just know that in general, the adventure holds up pretty well. The maps and supplemental materials are, they're okay. They were really good for mid 90s D&D standards. They kind of pale in comparison to the different art assets and things that we have access to now, but they're fine. They're okay. Now, in running this module, my goal from the outset was to run it as close as possible to the original source material, with a couple of exceptions. The first of those exceptions was that I wanted to make sure the module was fun for both me and my players. So I did change a few things just because I thought that my idea would be better than the original in the book. In most cases, this was to address certain parts of the adventure that I felt like would be just a slog of combat without a lot of meaningful story advancement. While I love combat and my players loved combat, I didn't want this to become just a grinding for XP experience, and there are actually places in Night Below where it kind of suggests that sort of gameplay. Exception number two. With a couple of notable exceptions, I never really felt compelled to recreate maps exactly the way they were in the original source material. For any given map, as long as I could find something reasonably close, I just went with reasonably close and used the rest of my prep time for more important things. And the third exception is that, as I always do, and as many of you DMs do out there, I changed some things just to make the module a better fit for the player characters' goals and motivations and so on. I was really lucky in that several of the characters that were built for the campaign were actually super, super easy to slot in with elements of the adventure as written, but there were still some significant changes that I made along the way to make sure that the characters were tied in specifically to the plot that was unfolding. In the next video, we'll be talking about some things that you'll want to make sure you keep in mind if you're thinking about running Night Below in 5th edition, or really any older edition adventure. The game mechanics and the expectations of play at the time is just not the same as what we typically think of in a 5th edition adventure. In the meantime, if you happen to stumble onto this video without seeing it in the playlist, you may want to check the description and see the rest of what's available in the series. 